You know, I think the latest episode is just one more in a number of uh, emerging differences that we've seen over the last several months around Syria, uh, uh, around uh, human rights issues, where uh, you know, it is probably appropriate for us to take a pause, reassess uh, where it is that Russia's going, what our core interests are, uh, and uh, calibrate the relationship so that we're doing things that are good for the United States uh, and hopefully good for Russia as well, but recognizing that there are just going to be some differences and we're not going to be able to completely disguise them. Senator, I expressed a healthy skepticism. I do not think it's appropriate to boycott uh, the Olympics. We've got a bunch of Americans out there who are training hard, uh, who are doing everything they can to, to succeed. Um, Nobody's more offended than me by some of the uh, anti-gay and lesbian legislation that you've been seeing in, in Russia. By finding a needle in a haystack. You know, our decision to not participate in the summit was not simply around Mr. Snowden. It had to do with the fact that, frankly, on a whole range of issues where we think we can make some progress, Russia has not moved. Is reshaping every... I don't have a bad personal relationship with Putin. When we have conversations, um, they're candid, they're blunt. Um, oftentimes they're constructive. Uh, I know the press likes to focus on body language and he's got that kind of slouch, uh, looking like the bored kid uh, in the back of the classroom. Uh, but the truth is, is that when we're in conversations together, uh, oftentimes it's very productive. In them as well. and that's no, I don't think Mr. Snowden was a patriot. Uh, as I said in my opening remarks, I called for a thorough review of our surveillance operations before Mr. Snowden made these leaks. My preference, and I think the American people's preference, would have been for a lawful, orderly examination of these laws. U.S. interests and increased peace. The fact is, is that Mr. Snowden's been charged with three felonies. Um, if, in fact, he believes that what he did was right, then, like every American citizen, he can come here, appear before the court uh, with a lawyer, uh, and make his case. Um, if the concern was that somehow this was the only way to get this information out to the public, I signed an executive order well before Mr. Snowden leaked this information uh, that provided whistleblower protection to the intelligence community for the first time. So there were other avenues available for somebody whose conscience was stirred and thought that uh, they needed to question uh, government actions. Technologies are used. 